This protocol begins by converting yeast cells into spiroplasts by digesting the cell wall with cymolyase. The spiroplasts are then homogenized using a glass Teflon homogenizer. The resulting homogenate is twice subjected to centrifugation to pellet unbroken cells, nuclei, and large debris. Next, the resulting supernatant is centrifuged for 15 minutes at 12,000 Gs to sediment mitochondria. Finally, the crude mitochondrial fraction that still contains other organelles is subjected to centrifugation for 60 minutes at 134,000 Gs in a sucrose density gradient. Pure mitochondria devoid of contamination by other organelles are recovered in the interface of 60% weight per volume and 32% weight per volume sucrose. Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Gregg from the lab of Dr. Vladimir Titorenko in the biology department at Concordia University. Today I'm going to show you how to isolate mitochondria from the yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae. We do this to study the dynamics and the age-related changes that take place in the mitochondria as the cells age. We're going to look at changes in the proteome, lipidome, and the DNA of the mitochondria. So, let's get started. Begin this protocol by growing the yeast strain in 10 250 milliliter flasks, each containing 50 milliliters of YP medium at 30 degrees Celsius with rotational shaking for 48 hours. Next, pour the culture into 500 milliliter Nalgene.